how important this day is in the in the life of a sailor. It's a big one. Hello everybody, today is a bit um, a different video about how to cross the equator. For that we are with uh, the boat uh, Starry Horizon, their YouTube channel is Our Chasing Star and they are going to help us for this big moment for Carlos and me. So we started our equator crossing ceremony already before even crossing and we are going to have pancakes on Starry Horizons. Oh, crepes, crepes. Crepes, no sorry. Pancakes. No pancakes. <laughs> going to make it a whole day here, big ceremony. I'm still sleeping. Oh. How are you? Good. <laughs> Hello. For the ceremony of the crossing, we try to find a good version of the rules. We search on different websites in different languages, but some of them are very weird. You know, pass the test. You put us um, plumas, you know, like the chicken, the chicken pass yes. feather, <laughs> feather, Fine, flower, feather, yeah. Yeah, and eggs, and we are thrown into the swimming pool. The swimming pool. After crossing the line. Okay. Like I'm not finding hardly anything that's good on this. Induct the slimy polywogs, that's you guys, into the mysteries of the deep. So you have to do like a physical hardship, like talent show, like the dance and that sort of thing. Um, and you're expected to endure a standard initiation right in order to become a show back. In, in court, you are given a notice that you have to appear before the judge. Yeah. So this is the polywogs are given the notice you have to appear before the shellbacks who will then um, do the ritual. See this is mostly for like big navy ships or like big cargo ships. So it's saying like people who have crossed before get to host like a beauty contest, um, cross-dressing so men dressing up as women. Um, yeah. What does it mean? Men dressing up like women. Ah, okay, we exchange. Yeah. That's what is written. That, that, yeah, let's say keep this reading. Is... We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs> let's keep reading. Let's see if we can find a way around. By a way around. So basically, it's like people who've crossed before get to just kind of like make people who haven't do some things, whether that's the, the cross dressing, mm. eat some things that are not good, oh. shave your head maybe. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe, I like the maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think since we're, we're on our own boats, we mm -hmm. can just kind of make up whatever we want. Mm -hmm. I can see the excitement of the crossing disappear in the face of my captain. So I would say that it's mostly going to be, we will be standing on our boat, kind of judging, and you guys will have to do something. Whether that's, you know, dancing around, jump in the water, like... You have to do something to convince us that you're worthy. The smile of my captain is back. Jump in the water. Yeah, something. So we'll have to stop the boat. Maybe. We can stop and just drift, yeah. I don't think there's going to be much wind out there. Yeah. <laughs> I would vote, like, uh, what you guys probably want to do is put together, like, a little speech mm -hmm. for that you can do on your boat as you're crossing the equator. You can say, Dear Neptune, thank you for looking out over the good ship Mirni Oaken and is not anything special we have to say? I'm trying to find something I like think, sweetie, I think we wrote our own. Yeah? Yeah. Because we couldn't find anything we were happy with. Ep, 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 guys, before we continue I have one question. Who is King Neptune? Maybe some people are like me, so I made some research for us. This is what I found. So originally, King Neptune is a Latin god. In Roman mythology, he was the god of the living waters, springs, and protector of fishermen, boatmen, and horses. It's only during the Punic War 260 to 150 before Jesus Christ that the Romans uh, demonstrated their naval superiority. 
So you can see here the Kingdom of the Romans before the Punic War and that is after. In keeping with the mutation of the civilization, Neptune was identified with the Greek god Poseidon. That's how Neptune became the god of the sea and he protects those who travel by the waters. Neptune is also the one who causes the storm, hurricanes, tidal waves. Then zero 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 nine nine and then eight and then seven six five four yeah. three two one zero 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 zero. Way. Oh my god! The good idea is as we go from here to the next island, we cross the equator. Here we go! We'll get close. We'll slow down. Ring the bell. Blow the horn. Pour out a little rum, take your shots, uh, and then you know, can do your speech mm -hmm. as we cross. And then when we get to the next island, then we'll have the court. We'll do the official, the, the judging. Court. Yes. King Neptune. We'll be judged court. by King Neptune. Yeah. yeah. And I think Amy and I get to be King Neptune, so gonna be judged. Yeah. Do you like this plan? I like this plan. We're in charge. <laughs> I can see their eyes are sparkling. Like, they're really looking forward for this. They're hiding something. <laughs> and then you can be officially shellbacks. Is that does that sound okay? Right, you are the 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 host. The host, yeah. You are the host. Yeah. So we'll have to do what you say, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> So what do you think, babe? Is that is that gonna be a, a good plan? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. So, I guess we don't have a choice, do mm -hmm. we? No, no, you don't. So that's you're you're here with us. You gotta mm -hmm. do what we say now. <laughs> I didn't realize how important this day is in the in the life of a sailor. It's a big one. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, moving from one hemisphere to the other is kind of yeah. a milestone. And, and as a sailor, like you remember this day, especially the first time you crossed oh, the equator, yeah. you remember this day all your life. Yeah, yeah. I remember crossing the equator going yeah. to the Galapagos, so yeah. yeah, it's something you'll remember. I'm sure we will remember after what we are going to do <laughs> because of them. <laughs> I will never forget. We're going to make it a fun day. I will It'll never forget. Fun day. Yeah. Yes. And we will, we will have to be sure that we will be there when you finish your yeah, that circumnavigation. Would be so good. Yeah. yeah. Waiting. <laughs> we'll be waiting yes. there. Payback time, huh? Is that how it's gonna work? We need this revenge. Yeah. <laughs> but if they are nice, we will have that in consideration. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's see how it is now. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we crossed without motoring. Yeah. <laughs> we crossed sailing, even if it's there, there is no wind. Hopefully, there is no current mm. against. <laughs> yeah. You cross and oh, you're back yeah. again. <laughs> uh, so, if we cross two times, we have to drink again. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a little shot? Um, I think the bigger the shot, the more lucky you get. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Maybe saying. I should write a script and post it on the blog. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, here's a general For idea. Future cruisers. Captain David. Part one done. Now we got to get you guys across the equator. It's not Captain David today, darling. It's Neptune. Yeah. King Neptune. All right, give me my proper respect. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, darling. so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this uh, special video about how to cross the equator. Uh, stay with us next week because we cross the equator. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Push the button like if you like it. We like to have some comments all the time so please don't be shy and just let your comments. We have also the Facebook page and the Instagram and to finish if you want and you can support our production please you can click in the the link below in the description, uh, the Patreon page. We still have few places available for our special lottery. 11 of the 22 first Patreon will come on board. Please check out our video episode 38 for more information. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Here. Uh, it's okay.
Cannot do much. Sorry. Just one second, please. Okay. What else? Dans l'hémisphère nord, la lune est croissante lorsqu'elle forme un D, alors que dans l'hémisphère sud, elle est croissante lorsqu'elle forme un C. Alors actuellement, la lune est croissante. Mais j'ai noté que aujourd'hui, lorsque la lune s'est levée, elle formait un D. Et là, elle est dans la phase où elle va se coucher, elle forme un C. Je pense que c'est un phénomène qu'on peut voir uniquement lorsqu'on est au niveau de l'équateur, ce qui est notre cas aujourd'hui. <rire> 